Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, as y'all know lately, FYB J Main done had everybody in the uproar after he would go to O Block to take a video in front of King Vaughn's mural. Some disagree with it, and some people thought that it was okay because J Main stated that all he was doing was trying to push peace and promote his whoops at the same time. However, many of the old block guys, such as Shoebox Baby, Mona Duke, and THF Bezu, took it as J Main was trolling and trying to be funny instead. Whatever his mission was, the point that they were trying to make was that there are certain things you just don't do, and there are certain lines that he shouldn't cross with his comedy. It's real people that lost their life due to this and with him being one of the main ones that was being disrespectful to somebody that they love, they just don't think that he should take it upon himself and go to King Vaughn's mural. Now another person that had a different stance on it was 800 Fat Shorty's father, rest in peace to Fat Shorty, but um, his father Big Dale, he made a whole lot of sense with what he was saying. He states that just as they were getting somewhere with pushing the peace, J-Man would come out the woodworks and do something like this to get everyone riled up once again. Now he feels it's almost as if J Main was placed within the entertainment industry or Chicago to keep the destruction going amongst the people in Chicago. And I wanted to make a separate video or go live and speak about that same topic myself because this was always something that actually really existed within our culture. From the Black Panther movements and other powerful black organizations that was infiltrated by the CIA and brought down is no different than with the music and entertainment industry but i'll leave that for another video now i don't know how sincere j man is with his apology whether he's really sorry or maybe he's just sorry because people took it away right there's a difference but he did issue an apology not too long ago concerning his actions for going to king vaughn's mural j man would take to his instagram story with a few words as he would say quote I want to apologize publicly to all the old blockians who felt some type of way about me pushing peace at King Vaughn's mural. I didn't go to Vaughn mural and piss or no weird ish. I put my peace cereal as a sign of peace. Stop trying to make me out to be the bad guy. That's weird for y'all gangbangers to try to beef with a comedian, especially when y'all see us trying to bring peace to the city. We finally getting somewhere. Stop whooping like that. Then Bezu stomped out the whoops at DJ UTV. Let's start there. Y'all add over whooping, bro. We can't change the past, but the future is now. FYB J Main for President 2023. Now, first of all, <laughs> um, if he was to be president, it wouldn't be 2023. He'll be running for 2024, but that's a whole other story. Um, I don't know about y'all, but if y'all peep the manipulative move he just did, where he's trying to switch it and play victim as if he wasn't the one that agitated. And initiated the situation but i peeped it right clever move but i can't say the guys from o block are actually wrong this time and like i stated before there's ways of pushing peace without involving the ops and j man ain't no fool he knew what he was doing and i don't know whether to take j man serious or not i don't know if he do it on purpose but to me it don't sound genuine and clearly he's still taking things as a joke um, it's almost sounding like one of those apologies where someone says sorry, but only because other people were offended or felt the way about it, or someone he respects says that he did something wrong, right? So he's just saying it to make them happy, but in reality, he probably still don't even see anything wrong with what he did, clearly. But Big Dale brought up a good point. He said, if you was trying to push peace by going there, why didn't you call someone? 
Why did you go there with a ski mask on? What was your intention? Why did you go there unannounced and you was invited to O Block plenty of times prior? And the part that gets me the most, right, is that the post of the video was a collaborative post with Say Cheese, the um, platform, which tells me that they were literally trying to go viral. That's what that was about. They thought they was about to catch a viral moment. So now the question is, were you really trying to push peace or were you just trying to go viral? And when J-Main say things like, oh, it's weird for y'all gangbangers to try to beef with a comedian, especially when y'all see us trying to bring peace to the city, that's the agitating part. That's the part that's going to get people riled up because you're antagonizing them. You're trying to be funny in a situation that these guys take very, very serious. And yet you causing potential destruction while trying to mask it with peace and manipulate the situation. Just think about it, right? That's like somebody from O Block going to 63rd to take a picture and say, oh, we're trying to bring peace. You see what I'm saying? Keep in mind, Big Dale and others were already bringing peace and getting somewhere before the situation, right before. This just made it worse. Check this out. I'm now to see people with multiple gunshot wounds. I go by the name Wap. I'm from O Block, 64th King Drive. Space. Uh, young Money Drum City. I'm G Town. 62nd at Kimbar, Cranktown. Dale, 61st at Kimbar, Cranktown. On Flames, 64th at Ellis, Pro City. So, Project Hood started in 2011. Uh, can you tell us about what was going on in the neighborhood around that time? The war with, you know, the other side, basically, it was, it was cracking 2011, 2012. That's really when it really started. When we started. See, there's a difference between speaking on pushing peace and being on the internet getting attention opposed to really being in your neighborhood pushing peace and getting things done getting your neighborhood politicians in line with it getting actual members from the hoods involved with it actually putting feet on land and doing the groundwork to really push peace and the thing that gets me as well is that would j-man go to king von mural any other time no why because he know that's something you just don't do when fbg cash right and rest in peace fbg cash when he went to his mural he didn't take a piss or none of that he just simply took a picture but it wasn't about taking a piss or anything extra it's just the fact that he took the picture the same reason fbg cash went is the same reason fybj main went just a troll it is what it is you ain't got to spit piss or none of that it's the ops neighborhood so by you going there taking videos or pictures that's enough to get a reaction that's enough in itself it says a lot within itself and j may know that so honestly i think j may just need to focus up man he's elevating you know things are going right for him right now but he's stagnating himself by playing these weird games and going back to the hood going backwards going to chicago should be the last thing on his mind he should be doing skits in california and brushing shoulders with other entertainers and entrepreneurs out there so he could leave this stuff alone don't get caught up in just a little social media hood fame it's not enough because it fades away get your money and keep excelling the man above has a way of humbling us when we get too big for our bridges and start feeling ourselves so the faster we get it can be the same way we lose it be smart so that's my take on it i want to hear what y'all think about jay main's apology honestly man because some people like i said they're feeding into it they feel that jay main was just being you know genuine about pushing peace or whatever the case may be but i think there's way honestly if he was to get somebody from o block and go to the mural that would have been way more impactful that would have made more sense you know even if you wanted the highest security you know, because it's about being smart. He's actually becoming someone within that culture. So it would have been smart. So it's not like somebody would look down on you for getting security to go to O-Block. They know what you're doing. They know that you are somebody that used to have beef with them. So it's expected. It makes sense. So when you do things like that, it would have been a little more impactful and probably wouldn't look, you know, to be trolling. 
He says he's cool with E-Dog or was cool with E-Dog at one point in time. He could have called him. E-Dog has enough weight on his name to where nobody would have did anything to J-Man if he would have pulled up with E-Dog. That would have made more sense. But now you're putting people in a compromising position because they feel like you're playing with someone that they truly love and care for that's not here anymore. So, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about J-Man's apology and how y'all feel about the whole situation as a whole. What y'all think about J-Man going to O Block and doing a video about King Von's mural? Do y'all agree, disagree with it, or do you simply just see nothing wrong? Y'all jump in the comments, let me know how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.